going on guys welcome back to the channel or welcome this is your first time here you know they say that two things are certain and that is death and taxes but i think that should include a third thing and that is change death taxes and change because our lives are always changing sometimes we think it's a positive change other times we think it's a negative change and those negative changes are the ones that's most difficult to deal with However, if you accept that your life is always changing, you know, we're always aging, our bodies are changing, different people coming to our lives, people go from our lives, we change jobs, we change homes, we change states sometimes, our lives are constantly changing, and it can be, you know, stressful, and sometimes that change can cause us to be anxious, can cause us to be depressed, can cause us to have all kinds of physical disorders like insomnia and things like that. It can have internal health issues, not just mental health issues. But to accept that change happens is one of the first and main steps, in my opinion, to actually cope with change. And they also say that what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And to a point, you know, that is true. So sometimes change even negative change can be used to grow, to experience growth through that adversity. Try to look at it as a way to learn more skills, to better your life, to get a better mindset. If you put things in perspective, you know, maybe it won't be such a dramatic change. If you can use that change, like I said, to motivate you to learn better skills, to better your life. For example, you know, if you have health issues, Use that health issue to motivate you to get in better condition, to have a better diet, to get out and exercise. Use it as motivation. If you get fired from your job, if you get laid off, use that as motivation to grow, to learn more job skills, to find a better job, for example. If you something happens, anything happens, look at it as, how can I use this to grow? How can I use this to give me encouragement to learn more skills, to do better in my life, to pick it up and to use this adversity that has happened to actually make it into a positive, turn that negative around and into a positive. Most of the times you can do that. Sometimes it's difficult. You know, if someone passes away, it's difficult to say, woo, someone passed away. You don't want to do that because that's not part of the grieving process. You have to go through that grieving process, but then you can try to figure out, you know, how you can move on, how you can keep going because you know that the person, for example, that has passed away that you care about probably cared about you or you wouldn't care about them. So that person that has passed away in your life, you know, it could be a father, a mother, brother, sister, grandparent, or whatever, a friend. If you can look at it this way and realize that that person that has passed away wouldn't want you to be sad. They wouldn't want you to be depressed. They wouldn't want you to lose sleep. They would want you to be happy they would want you to move on in life and actually try to use it as a way to grow you also need to be able to you know just roll with it because like i said change does happen if you had the right mindset that here it is it's happening there's nothing i can do about this i just have to roll with it i have to become flexible and get my life in a different direction to deal with this change that has happened because like i said Change is going to happen no matter who you are, no matter what you do. Life is full of changes and it's pretty much constantly changing all the time. They say every seven years, I think it is, usually on average, someone has a big change, you know, like a job change, someone passes away you really care about, someone new in your life, a marriage, a baby, or something like that happens. So change is always happening. And if you can just accept that it's there, it's going to happen, and say, hmm, here we are, this is happening. I can't stop it. I have to just roll with it and figure out what's the best course of action for me, how's the best way to deal with this. And like I said, try to use it to grow and to learn more skills if you can. You just have to become adaptable and roll with whatever's happening because most change, you can't stop. It's coming if you like it or not. So you have to just learn to accept that and say, hmm, here we go i got to work with this. I've got to deal with this. So this is the best course of action to take, and I'm good. I'm going to go with it. You know, having the right mindset is the key to 
being able to adapt and to grow through change. You have to have the right mindset. If you look at things in a negative way and feed your mind negative thoughts and negative self-talk, then it's going to make it much more difficult to deal with change. You have to have the right mindset, look at it and say, this is, like I said a minute ago, what it is, it's here, and I got to accept this and try to look at the positive and try to find the positive. For example, like if you lose your job, it's like, hmm, it's bad now, but... I'm looking at this as an opportunity to find a better job. I've got the right mindset. If you go and say, oh, man, I'll never find another job like that. i never find one any better. I'm just screwed. I'm just, I don't know what to do. I'm just all the pieces. Have the proper mindset and the proper self-talk. Things are going to get better. Things are going to improve. I'm going to make it. I've fought adversity before. I've lived through that. So it's going to be okay. You know, it's going to be okay. You've got to have the right mindset and the right self-talk. If you catch yourself having negative self-talks, say, stop it. No more of this negative self-talk. And replace that negative self-talk with positive thoughts and positive self-talk. Because if you tell yourself enough, then your mind will actually start to believe what you're telling it and what you're thinking over and over again and will actually look for ways to make that positive talk that you've been having with yourself and those positive thoughts into your reality. So positive self-talk, positive thoughts. You know, if you get up every morning and you look in the mirror and say, God, I'm ugly. I look like a horse's ass. <laughs> I'm just so ugly. I mean, look at this nose. Look at these eyes. Look at this skin. If you use that as motivation to try to improve your looks and get up every morning and look in the mirror and say, I look okay. I'm not beautiful, but I'm presentable. I look fine. I look okay. My looks are improving every day. And it's just an example. You can do that on anything like your health or anything like that, your finances. Positive self-talk and action to make it actually happen. But if you take and you feed yourself negative talk all the time, and it will make you really, really depressed. You know, if you have, say, insomnia, and you tell yourself all the time, I have insomnia, I can't sleep, I have trouble falling asleep. It actually becomes a reality. However, if you tell yourself that I'm a great sleeper, I don't have any trouble at all falling asleep, I go to bed and I fall asleep, I sleep through the night, and most of the time, if you have some physical disability causing you not to, you will start to sleep better. You will get better. But like I say, if you feed yourself that negative talk, you won't get any better. You keep on getting worse and worse and worse all the time. So positive self-talk. Like with relationships, for example. You know, if you are single and you tell yourself every day, I'll never find anyone that's going to be my soulmate. It's never going to happen. And you feed yourself that all the time. It becomes more of reality. If you tell yourself, I'm open to talking to new people, open to seeing where it goes and more than likely over time you know i'll find someone to be with someone i click with and i'll be happier in the process hopefully there's no guarantees in life but you've got to roll with it and feed yourself that positive self-talk because it definitely helps to have a better life and overcome changes and the changes that we no doubt are going to always have throughout the course of our lives another key aspect of dealing with change especially real drastic change is to seek support you don't have to go you can if you need to but you don't have to go you know to a psychiatrist or nothing like that usually sometimes you might sometimes it helps not saying not to however if you just have friends people you can hang out with you can go places with and do things with that's gonna help a lot you know it's a lot better to have friends to get out and to do things than it is just to sit at home dwelling on that change has happened in your life you know if someone passes away and say you live alone and your mother passes away your father brother if you live alone and you just sit at home dwelling on that change dwelling on that death missing that person all the time it's going to make it much more difficult to actually move on and actually get through this and to make yourself a better person in the process hopefully so having support friends 
it's actually good. Sometimes it's difficult to find friends. Close family can also help. You know, church can help. Activities outside the home. But get out and do something. Seek support. And like I said, it doesn't have to be going to counseling, going to a psychologist. It can help. I'm not saying not if you need that, but just going out, having friends, doing activities can definitely help you through these major changes and events. Sometimes after real drastic changes, people can just let themselves go. They can start to drink more than they should. They can start to smoke. They can be depressed, lose sleep, overeat, gain weight, have bad health, and it just snowballs and makes things actually a whole lot worse. Practice self-care. You know, when you're going through change, try to figure out how you can improve other aspects of your life. You know, your social abilities, for example, your friendships, your health, your skills. Try to keep positive. Try to keep moving forward. Because if you just sit home and drink all night, get drunk every day, smoke, overeat, it's going to make your life even worse. So... When you're down, when bad things are happening, when change is happening, practice self-care. Try to, you know, get cleaned up, get a haircut, get a shave if you're a, a man. Uh, get some better clothes, get some better shoes, take a trip, start exercising, start walking, start praying, getting closer to God. Start getting in the nature. I mean, just try to improve and take care of yourself. Try to get your health better work to improve yourself in all ways during these times of stress over change and it'll actually help you get through that change more quickly and more effectively and you'll be a better person for that and another thing that definitely helps with change is to be prepared for that if you realize like i said at the start of the video that change is going to happen and you look at change and say, this could happen, this could definitely happen, this is a good possibility of actually happening, so how can I prepare for that change? You know, if you think you might lose your job, which you definitely could, no job is 100% secure. Try to figure out, if you can, how you can have your, you know, your bills paid up, for example. How you can have a nest egg put back. How you can have preps, preparations, food storage, and things like that to see you through that time period where you actually lose your job and have to find an, another job if you can during that time period. Hopefully you can, but with the common way it is, it's iffy sometimes, but look at it positive and say, I'm going to find another job, I'm going to find a better job, I'm going to gain more skills to get a better job. However, you know, like I said, if you are prepared for these type changes, you have it, if you're prepared mentally, if you're prepared financially, it will go a long way to allow you to grow and to actually get through these life changes that we're all going to face without too much adversity, without too much trouble, not, without too much depression and things like that. So be prepared, especially with financial preparedness. And guys, most change offers an opportunity to actually learn and to grow. So when things are happening and change is happening, look at that and say, how can I use this? to better my life? How can I use this to learn a new skill? What can I learn from what's happening right now? How can I get through this? Try to learn from every change, good or bad, and try to use it as motivation That's for the next time. You may get through this time, use it for motivation next time. You know, you can look back and say, I made it through this before. It was rough, but I pulled through that. I'm a better person for that, and this change is happening to me right now. I can do the same thing. I've learned how to deal with change. So look at it as a learning opportunity, if at all possible. And guys, you have to put everything in proper perspective. You can look at things and have a narrow view, and it makes it more difficult to see, you know, the bigger picture. Step back, take a deep breath, and look at what's going on, what is happening, and look at it in a proper perspective. Is it as bad as you think that it is? Is it as hopeless as you think that it is? Look at it in the proper perspective, think about it, and think about how you can improve, how you can use this to your advantage, how you can use this to grow, but try not to be negative, try not to, not to look at the narrow perspective, look at the wide point of view, don't look at the right now, try to look at how it's going to change things, hopefully for the better, like I said, positive thinking, positive self-talk, look at how it's going to change things for the better in the future. If you look at it right now, what's happening right now, it's difficult to 
look at it in a proper perspective, you're like, oh man, it's over, it's the end. If you look at that narrow view, but if you step back and look at the wide view and think, where can I be at using this a year from now, two years from now, five years from now? Look at that wide perspective and put it in proper perspective, and it will help you get through these major life changes much more quickly and without nearly as much stress and anxiety and things like that. So put things in their proper perspective. And always remember to celebrate the small wins. Not everything is a huge win, but even the small wins are a plus. You know, if you go in and you do a job interview, for example, and you have a really good job interview and you learn from that job interview, but you don't get the job, you still had a, a win, a small win, because you learned how to cope, how to lower your stress for those job interviews. You learned how to speak to an employer or, or a, a potential employer. You learned how to present yourself and you'll do better next time that's a small win you know if you're trying to lose weight and you work for two weeks and you lose two pounds that's a small win for sure you know you'd like to lose five pounds or even more but even one pound two pound is a small win and try to look at it as positive also like i said a minute ago if you've had things happen in the past and we all have and we use and we made it through those events happened in the past when things happen in the future we can look back at our small wins and our big wins from the past and use that to motivate us and get us through this current thing that's happening no matter what no matter what it is if you liked the video and found it helpful give it a big thumbs up thanks for watching and a quick more matter i'll see you all in the next video hopefully